Hello everybody, how y'all doing? Today I will be talking about music, who I think is hot, who I think is not, who I'm listening to, and just give you some musical suggestions. All right, so let's go ahead and dig on in. We can take our time. Mm. I just wanna know you. I just, I just wanna love you, baby. I just wanna make you mine. I just wanna make you mine. So for those of you who don't know, I am a 90s lover, I am an 80s lover, I love r and I love gospel, I love rap. I pretty much love it all. Um, lately, even though I love my 90s and 80s artists that are still performing and putting out music today, I do be trying to keep up a little bit with the new stuff, with that trap, with that rap, with that truck, whatever y'all got out these days, trying to keep up with these youngins. Um, so it's going to be a little mixture today. So let's get on started. So the first genre I'm going to talk about is rap, hip hop. I guess that's what y'all calling y'all rap and hip hop today. It's more like mumble jumble to me. But nonetheless, here we go. So the first person who I actually just got into, um, they just recently came out with an album um, called Most Hated. Um, Frito, Frito Bang, Frito, Fredo. I don't know how you pronounce his name, but it is a banger. Okay. Some of the songs I've been listening to is Bad Talk. Freaching, you know, money back, yo, dropping, freaching, see fine ass, saucy, get even, air out, and like a G. Those are my top favorite songs from the album. So it took me a couple of times to listen to it and try to understand what they were saying, but the music's good. I actually like some of this music. I know I'd be talking mad trash about my nephews and them listening to all this garbage, but I actually like the album. So Frito Bang, if you if you don't know who he is, look him up. The album, the album's good. The next album, once again, I just started getting into all these people. So first time really hearing of them this weekend when I downloaded the music because I, I'm trying to keep up with these people. Um, the Baby. The Baby, I actually like his album that just came out as well. Blame it on the baby. Um, and once again, while I can't understand half the stuff he's saying, I do like the music overall. And some of the songs that stick out to me is Light Skin Shit, featuring Future, and then um, Pick Up, featuring Quavo, El Quavo, I forgot how you say his name too, and then Jump. I like, I like. so those are the albums that I've been listening to in the hip hop genre. That's really, you know, da, 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 da. You know, I can't even talk trash no more about these new artists because actually, when, when you start listening to it, I actually like it. All right, so some singles that are out that I like in the R&B rap genre, I guess, um, pop, if you will, um, Doja Cat, Say So, you know, I actually kind of like it. I, I like her. I, I, I got her last album, whatever the case may be. And I kind of like the song, you know, um, I'm not a big Nicki Minaj fan at all, but I do like her on features and she, you know, she did her thing. So if my nephew Jalil's watching this, yeah, I'm giving your girl Nicki Minaj some credit. Kudos to that song. Another song that I like, um, Savage by Mel Megan Thee Stallion, the remix. I really thoroughly like it. Da, 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 hey. uh, 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 uh. And you know who is featuring is featuring Beyonce. You know who's from my time, the 90s. I will say one thing about this song though, because I saw your little post. I saw an actual article on this. Beehive, I ain't scared of y'all. I'm going to just say it. Y'all need to stop with that. Calling her the queen of rap. Beyonce is not the queen of rap. She's a great entertainer. She can sing. She can dance. She can put on a great show. There's some movies in it um, with her that I actually like. However, Beehive, y'all need to stop. She ain't no queen of rap. Like Remy Ma said, to be the queen of rap, you got to actually rap. So, you know, she did the 0.5 bars. How's she a rapper now? Give me a straight 16. Give me 16 bars, B then I might consider you, okay, she's a rapper, but still, you won't be no queen of rap. You ain't the queen of that. You the queen B, but you ain't no queen of rap. All right? So those are the songs that I'm listening to in the hip-hop and R&B genre. Now, we're going to switch it over to my favorite genre of music that I really, really love. It gets me through a whole bunch of time because as y'all know, I am a church boy, baby. All right? So the first gospel album that I think that you all should be getting is my girl Kiki, Kiara Shear. Um, her album, as my nephew would say, is a bop from beginning to end. 
Um, it's a mixture of hip hop, R&B, gospel. Um, it'll make you bump your head, it'll make you wave your hands, it'll make you do your little dance dance, hey, 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 hey. Um, the key like the key songs that stick out to me is it keeps happening, always win. Cause all I do is win, 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 no matter what. Um, don't judge me, featuring Missy Elliott, Missy, 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 Missy Mina. Um, and something has to break, featuring Tasha Cobbs. Like those are my top songs for that particular album. But once again, it's a great album from beginning to end. Um, so big ups to you, Kiara Shared. Um, she's a lovely lady. She's around my age range, so that's why I'm, you know, Team Eighties baby. All right, this song has been. I've been waiting on it, this album rather, I've been waiting on it, and it finally came out. And when I tell you that this guy and his choir never disappoint, they always come out with straight bangers, and that's none other than Ricky Dillard and New G. Hey, hey, clap, 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 hey. And my highlight songs are Glad to Be in the Service. I feel like that's gonna be that quarantine song when we're all able to go back to church. I feel like that's every choir is gonna be singing that, or some churches ain't big enough for no choir. Your praise team, somebody gonna be singing that song, bumping the track, because that's just that type of song. Glad to be in the service. One more time, let there be peace on earth. It's just so melodic and so inspirational, and it's so such a such a big message. Thomas Allen, the male vocalist on that on that song, kudos for all your placements, your runs. It was just perfect music music heaven to the to the ear so i'm trade i'll trade my sorrows for worship is another great song that i like and my all-time favorite song on this particular album is never fail me yet if i didn't know that god never fails i know that god don't fail after listening to that song that song is just straight church hand clapping foot stomping tongue talking everything about it the music the directing the lead vocalist Never fail me yet. So kudos to Ricky Dillard and New G. Thank you for always putting out great music and never disappointing us choir loving gospel music fans. All right. Last but not least for the day, a good person that I know personally. Um, I've heard him sing quite a few times. He's a great vocalist, a great person inside and out. And his name is Jannard Carpenter. And he's just put out an EP. He's good. And those three songs that are on there, great. Great music, great artist, all that type of good stuff. So those are the those are the songs and the albums that I think that y'all should be bopping to right now, listening to. Banging them out when you're cleaning, when you're cooking, when you're in your car, whatever you're doing these days while we quarantining. And um, that's pretty much it. Please subscribe to the Main J Show by clicking on the button on the left top screen. Thank you. Or you can also subscribe to the main page that you're watching this on. The only reason why these, all these videos are still on the, my main page because I'm just waiting to get a little bit more subscribers and then I'll start really pushing everything over there. Next week, I will be promoting local artists that I think should really be on the map by now that really should be bigger than who they are. If you have any artists that you know of that are local, that are trying to make it, that are Email me their music, email me their name so I can listen to them and I can give them a shout out on the show. The email is themainjshow at gmail.com. Thank you for watching today and I'll see you all next week. Peace.